Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. No, As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! All I'm saying is that he better not do it. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to, if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. What a scene, man! Woo-wee! <laughs> then it is plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Rice, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. 
Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, and blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> All right. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Cause it'll come so naturally, you think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. Fringe benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you get to sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Okay, now. The fuck is this?
piece of pop bastards. All right, we gotta vamoose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento, and it's... And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Oof. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabbat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one. Even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast, it's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. 
Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> the only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity, and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Well, give it a try. <laughs> Just couldn't bear it, huh? Ah, it's okay. Polite kindred society looks down on that kind of thing anyway. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. The building across from us with the garage door? There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. All right, go. a vampire, so be ready. Go get him. That. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground, avoid straight bullets. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Stop!
You! Just stay back. Keep your distance. Now who the hell are you? You involved in all this? Cause I'm gonna radio this in and SWAT will be all over this place. No! Well, I, uh, I left my radio in the Caprice anyway. Yeah, okay. Alright. This way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. We've come to an elevator around the way. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh man, I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it'll take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still. A kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. 
Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I gotta make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Just like that, it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry, Dodge, Spin and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the negative zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark eight's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slayings in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as torn apart, though details are being withheld from the public at this time, police urge anyone with information relating to this case to contact them. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island has scientists scratching their heads. 
Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented... Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Bitch! Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. I'm happily married to my work. And I have a wife, too. What I wouldn't do for a glass of 79 Chateau Montebleau right now. How's it going, girl? Oh man, wait! Say that again! Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? Hey, I work for a vampire. I don't know how much I should tell you, but... Oh man, damn! It would be awesome to talk to someone else on the inside. Know what I mean? <laughs> oh man! Ha! 
Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell! I... Oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden... BAM! Oh man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man! And they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out! Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel the draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in, I don't know. 
I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Ah, uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, go on back. It's, uh, it's a nice night out, huh? Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. Ah, uh, my insides, it hurts so I'm bad. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her, keep her awake. I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse paged Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> but you did something. I, I kissed your wrist. I can feel it inside of me. What did you do? You... I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here.
Uh, hey, hey, uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Um, no, not, not really. Sorry. <laughs> you know, you, you really don't seem the criminal type. Well... Okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? You call me Trip. I own this shop. Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. Alright, here's what we got today. Thanks for coming back. What you need?
What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Ooh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. I am Jeanette, and this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise.